Happy almost Thanksgiving, kind of. So this is the Pretty Polish tag. I was tagged by Curly Kimmy Star. And I believe this video originates from, let me get the name, sorry I have my computer right here. It originates from Ms. Natural Life, so I'll put everybody's info down below. So let's get started, shall we? So question number one is when it comes to color, are you a conservative or hot mama? I am a hot mama all the way around. I love bright colors, I love metallics. I love glitter. I love all that stuff. I'm the type of person I want you to be able to see my nails from across the street. Question number two. Are you a drugstore junkie or a high-end diva? Drugstore junkie all the way. The closest thing I live to is Target. Target is literally like 30 seconds from my house. So I'm always at Target and I'm always in the nail polish section buying everything in sight. Oh, number three. What's your all-time favorite polish to date? This is really difficult, so, and it changes every season, it changes, so I'm going to give you my top three that I use, have been using like over the past year. So the number one, Floss Gloss is Cone Limon, which is a really amazing lime green, which I love. Then there's Flip Flop Fantasy, which is a neon pinkish color that I love. And then third is Deborah Lippmann's Stairway to Heaven, which is kind of a white clear, iridescent, I don't know, it's beautiful, whatever it is. Question number four, what's the most you've ever paid for a polish? Um, I don't know how much it costs because it was an impulse buy and I bought a bunch of other stuff with it. I went to the Mac store and saw this and went kind of crazy and bought a bunch of stuff. Sinful Colors is one of my favorite brands one of my favorite drugstore brands rather and every now and then they'll go on sale at Walgreens for 99 cents normally they're $1.99 but um, I, one time I found it at Walgreens for 99 cents and I literally bought like 20 of them sorry not sorry number five would you consider yourself a pro painter or just an amateur okay not a pro if you follow me on Instagram you will see um, this design I got was My Little Pony by Brittany Tokyo, who is amazing. And so she basically painted a couple of the My Little Pony ponies on my nails, and they look fantastic. I am nowhere near that level. Uh, one day I hope to be, but not yet. So definitely somewhere in between pro painter and amateur. What's your biggest polished pet peeve? Top coat that smears your design. Um, sometimes I'll just randomly buy a top coat or someone will send me a top coat and I'll try it on top of a nail art design and they smear my design. And it's the most heartbreaking thing in the whole wide world. You spend all this hard work and time on a design and then when you put the top coat on it smears it. So that's definitely my biggest, biggest nail polish pet peeve. Number seven, what's more important, top coat or base coat? You can get away without using base coat. I always use base coat and top coat, but I will never not use top coat. Because, like, it's going to chip. A good top coat will keep your, it'll add shine, and a lot of the top coats I use make it dry faster, which is great, and they keep it from chipping. So, always use top coat. Nail art, love it or leave it. Are you serious? Really? Uh, love it. I will never, I never leave the house without something on my nails. Like, I'm obsessed. I will be 90 years old with nail art, please believe. Number nine, if you could design a polish, what would you name it and what would it look like? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't know. It would have nailgasm in the title, obviously. Um, I don't know what it would look like. Probably have some type of glitter, as I am obsessed. Probably some type of purple, as that is my favorite color. I, I really can't answer that one. I don't know. And last but not least, share your best tip for the perfect manicure. Um, I will say take your time. Doing my nails is really relaxing for me, so whenever I'm doing it, I make sure I set off like a big chunk of time so that I'm not rushing and, you know... Just take your time. Enjoy it. Doing your nails is supposed to be fun and relaxing, so that's my tip. Thank you for watching. Um, I will put more interviews and tutorials up soon. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.